Hello, welcome back to the second lesson in our King series. Have you put the pictures on your timeline from last week? I'm just quickly going to do that now. And if you haven't gotten a timeline, you can download one on our website, or you could also let us know and we'll help you out. There we go. That down there. We have a couple of YouTube clips. Uh-oh. Quickly, quickly, quick. Oh! From various places of something going wrong. And these videos, they make us laugh, don't they? But in today's story from One Kings, we are going to see something so seriously go wrong for someone that no one will laugh about it. Let's go to the story time place thing. Cool. Okay. We are part of the way through the story of King Solomon. He was one of the kings of Israel and God made him wiser than any king before or after him. And King Solomon had built an incredible temple for God in Jerusalem. We are going to see how wealthy God had made King Solomon as well. Each year, he made a huge amount of gold. In one year, he had made a huge throne with six steps onto it and two lions on each side, all of ivory and gold. He also made 200 large gold shields and 300 small gold shields just to decorate his palace with. That is more gold than you or I have ever seen in one place. The Bible says that silver was so cheap and common in Solomon's time that it was like stones on the floor. People came from everywhere to see Solomon's wealth and wisdom. The Queen of Sheba came from a huge distance she didn't just believe the stories people had her, told her. She was overwhelmed when she saw what he was wiser and richer than she had ever imagined. Although she came from a different land, she actually praised God for making Solomon king and marveled at how much God loved Israel to give them this king. But there was a problem. In fact, there were a thousand problems. Let's follow the rest of the story from 1 Kings chapter 11 in this Lego video. This is King Solomon. He was David's son. He was a very wise king, but King Solomon started to marry many women who were from nations which God had said the Israelites should not marry because they would get led away from God. Solomon didn't listen to God and married 700 princesses and queens from these nations and had 300 girlfriends from them too. And when Solomon got old, his wives and girlfriends started to lead him away from God and he started to follow their gods and started doing evil in God's eyes. He built shrines for his wives, gods and goddesses on tops of mountains all around Jerusalem. So the Lord said to Solomon, Since this is your attitude, and you have not kept my covenant and my decrees which I commanded you, I will most certainly tear the kingdom away from you and give it to one of your subordinates. Nevertheless, for the sake of David your father, I will not do it during your lifetime. I will tear it out of the hands of your son, yet I will not tear the whole kingdom from him, but will give him one tribe for the sake of David my servant and for the sake of Jerusalem, which I have chosen. Did you spot it? How many wives and girlfriends did Solomon have? Why did Solomon's wives cause a problem? And what was God's punishment for Solomon? Work it out. Why do you think it was so important to God that Solomon obeyed him? Why do you think God was kind to Solomon as he punished him? And I think it through. The way to keep God number one in your life is to obey his words. What do you think it means for you to obey God? You can pray for each other to be faithful and to obey God. Let me pray. Dear God, thank you so much that you are constantly faithful. I pray that you will help us to learn from this lesson and to obey you each day.